Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal participated in the Daring Cities 2020 Summit on Climate Change held in Germany through video conferencing. He discussed about Delhi government's recent electric vehicle policy and new crop subtle decomposer. He also spoke about other measures taken to tackle air pollution in national capital over the past few years. A New Delhi government official said Kejriwal participated in the session with a multi-level action plan to tackle the climate emergency, specifically with a spoke, uh, focus on New Delhi. Daring Cities is a global forum for urban leaders on climate change, particularly in context of COVID-19 epidemic, the government said in a statement. The conference is being hosted in Germany. There, Arvind, how is Delhi responding to the climate emergency? What are you doing? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed an honor for me to be speaking at uh, the Daring Cities conference today, uh, to be invited to speak at this conference. As you all know, the whole world is grappling with the pandemic of Corona. But at this time, this corona has also uh, made us aware of the fact in many countries we have seen how lockdowns were imp uh, imposed. And when lockdown was imposed in any place, the, suddenly the quality of air improved in those places. And it made us realize that how much the human beings are responsible for spoiling our climate, they are responsive, we are responsible for uh, tampering with our ecosystem. Delhi has been suffering because of air pollution for quite some time, but in the last few years, we have taken some very bold and imaginative steps. I would like to share some of the steps that we have taken in the last few years and what we propose to do in the next few years. For instance, in the winters of 2015 and 16, Delhi almost became, every winter Delhi becomes like a gas chamber and 2015 and 16 winter was pretty bad because of the pollution coming from the neighboring states due to stubble burning. The entire Delhi was engulfed with smoke all around that was a time then that we were required to take some very bold step and we implemented odd even scheme. Odd even scheme is that on odd dates, odd number vehicles are permitted on the road and on even dates, even number vehicles are permitted on the roads. In some parts of the world, this scheme had been implemented earlier, but with mixed results. In Delhi, when we decided to implement it, many people cautioned me and many political people caution me that it is a very harsh step and could be politically suicidal for us because people will not appreciate it such a harsh step. But we uh, implemented a very uh, aggressive uh, campaign and we made the people aware why it was important to implement this. And I was very happy to note that people volunteer, voluntarily came forward to implement this measure. It was implemented for 15 days and in those 15 days, though there was a fine against anyone who violated this, but the number of fines that, was, that we had to impose was negligible. People themselves voluntarily implemented it. Since then, we have used this odd even scheme three or four times in the last few years and a study conducted by Harvard uh, school of uh, Harvard school shows that almost 